Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Point Lifestyle. My name is Onye Uche and on this show we'll be taking you through lifestyles of Steki. We'll be bringing you closer to the tech world. We'll also be looking at how technology impacts our everyday life. Um, Titi is in the house. Hello Titi. Hello Onye. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing this with me. Um, so, um, on this um, episode, it's no surprise that we'll be blending tech and love. It's Valentine's Day in just a few days. So we're actually going to be looking at the impact of technology on our relationships. So, so what do you think about how, how, how has technology impacted our relationships really? Well, I think the biggest impact technology has had on relationships is communications. Okay. Like, as a whole, when you talk about communication with your romantic, better half, or your family members, or your friends, so it has helped a long way. Gone are the days where we have to exchange letters, where you have to post letters to your friends outside. True. Your, yeah. You can do that in a matter of yeah, seconds yeah, now, yeah, right? Yeah. With Facebook and Instagram and that's yeah, that's very that. true. Yeah, so that's 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 a major one. So communication between people, that's a major one. Um we've also had um relationships that um give that bettered online, right? Yes. A lot of those on Facebook, you hear stories of people that met on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and it's usually nice because I'm a big fan of love and I like to hear stories like that. But isn't it really, isn't it creepy? It's actually, I, I don't know, start a relationship. No, you don't start a relationship. Someone you met online. You don't start a relationship immediately. You, just, you build a friendship first and then. I don't know, sometimes I just feel online friendships are not real. Oh. Like it's a virtual world. You can take it from vir virtual to physical. Like you meet someone online and you think your conversations actually are going well. Then you take it away from there and you meet physically and when you see the person, and you like the person and okay. one thing leads to another. You've got a point. That, yeah. That's true. It can start online and then, you know, of course. mix up with the physical. But there are some people that started their relationships online. They, they had a relationship online and the thing ended like that without them meeting. And ah, so it's like online throughout. Yes, it was, it was virtual throughout. <laughs> they only communicate through Skype and IMs and... How, how about those that intended to start and never started? <laughs> like, well, you know, we've had some funny stories of I want to meet my online boyfriend and... I never meet. And, we, and the thing what? dies like that. Okay, so it's like... It's not... We've had... Um, Situations where I, I remember I saw something some time ago on Twitter where the, the famous Twitter and the last people to send in their, their numbers and he paired them up and people are people yeah. actually did that yes they did is it that hard to start a relationship you, you, you have no idea of how hard it is <laughs> until you are in those people's shoes oh really yes. okay so um thank you Titi um you had a box pop right yes. So I went on the street this week and asked a few techies a few questions about relationships and um, the idea or their opinions on the impact of technology on relationships in general. Take a look yourself. For me, I like sleeping. So if I get a day of sleep with no heat, no mosquitoes, that's like a perfect and oh, cold weather with Jebu Gary and Granot. That's it. As it, it can't go better than that. But people have different. Well, I like cold water with Gary, Ijebu Gary, the one that like slaps you and grind away. Yes, that's my own version of Valentine's Day. Um, subscriptions, online subscriptions to uh, comics, books, TV shows, you know, Netflix. And obviously, they want really cool gadgets that can play really cool games. Days, you go on the days, you go have dinner, wine, you know, music. You know, and I need funding. <laughs> I need funding. One, I need funding. Two, I need network, like some key connections. Okay, I'm just kidding. I need a very nice car, like, um, yeah, better than the one I have at the moment. So maybe a Benz. A Benz would do. I don't mind. I'm not asking for too much. Just the Benz, a house in Banana Island. I mean, that's not too much to ask for. Yeah, that's all. Mary, that's all I. I don't know. I'm not really keen on receiving gifts. 
because I usually forget to buy gifts. So, I don't know. Nothing. Good. Me, I like things like my name imprinted on something. So if I have a jersey, it's nice. Anything. Any a Mac notebook. Okay, so we're back. And oh, that was pretty interesting views we had yes. there. I liked the one about the girl who says she likes Gary Jebo and cold water. Yet. I like Gary Jebo, but please not for Valentine. Well, there are different people, and if that's how she wants to spend her Valentine, well. And then the guy that wants a house in Banana Island. Okay, I think we'll just get him up with his girlfriend. And then I like the idea of having anything that has your name on it. It's, I think it's cool. Like, yeah. You get me a t shirt with my name on it or a wristwatch, my name engraved on it. So anything, I think it's, it's really yeah, a good idea. That's actually nice, but it's not a gift that works for me though. So, okay, tell me, what's your ideal perfect <laughs> gift? What's your idea of a perfect gift? I really don't have an idea of a perfect gift, but I just know things that will work for me, really. Um, so the um, the whole brand new my name on my... Ah, come on, do you want people to call me on the streets? <laughs> so, so that one I doesn't think, work I for me. I think it's actually streets. Okay, we don't agree on that one. Um, okay, so we have some pretty interesting gifts you can check out on the website yeah, on so Tech Wonder NG. NG. Yeah. Um, the most interesting one for me was the domain name. Yeah, I love that's it. right. Yes. You like romantic things like that. Tell me romantic, <laughs> but don't tell anyone. Okay, so I've actually seen someone with that. Um, he he had it for his wedding and he told their love stories. So you go online and you see pictures of them. It's, I think it's sweet. It's pretty sweet. Yes, so you really. can put your memories together, your pictures, your videos, cute letters and messages for each other. I think it's a very, it's a perfect idea. Yeah. How about food for Valentine? Everybody loves food. <laughs> so you could just get me like one month subscription of to a catering service every day delivered to my office, right? That would be nice. Interesting. Yes. Um, let's see. Digital painting. Uh, yeah. Nice. I think, I think it's nice. Romantic. Um, so you see, art is always expressive, like when it comes to love. So I think that works for everyone, really. I think so too. It's for people like Oye that like to read. Ah, oh, yes. An ebook reader. Yes. <laughs> you know, the beautiful thing about ebook readers is that they actually look like paper like words on paper so mm -hmm. you don't go through the whole stress of reading uh, on a small phone and all of that so i think i really love an ebook with that so if you have an ardent reader for a boyfriend or a girlfriend just get them that they'll really appreciate it yeah okay um i think that's that's you just go on the website and check for an engine check for really nice tech inspired gifts for your loved ones okay and then make sure you order all these gifts before, Before Valentine's Day. Day. Okay. Yes. Um, so, you know, we looked at relationships and we looked at the positive impact of tech on relationships, but there are also some pretty ugly sides too. Yes, a lot of ugly sides actually. Yeah. But one thing, Nigerians are known for uh, online scams. So, it's a, bad, it's a bad thing, but can't help it. Yeah. So, many people are scared. So you meet someone online and they don't want to talk to you because they're scared that you are you're a catfish. <laughs> to be a guy pretending to oh, yeah. be a girl. And some, yeah, it happens. Yeah, I've, yeah no, yes. I've had a personal, uh, no, a friend actually describes the experience, you know. Mm -hmm. And so the girl is all nicey-nicey and you're spending money. It's, I, I get I get. We you. have people that just go online to try to hurt people so they get them to meet them physically and from the, from there things happen we hear yeah, yeah, people dying creepy stuff people kidnapping losing, yes and stuff like that so I think that's that how about how it has also reduced human interaction yes you know so rather than walk up to your mom in her room and ask a question you just type and send it on what's, what's up, up. Yes. Uh, so it, it has actually brought, um, reduced family ties it's and funny that we, we said communication is like the biggest impact technology has had on relationships but wait, what you just said now is just kind of contradicting the whole idea because we are we're supposed to bring together people be able to communicate and one somehow person. it's wedging a distance yes. still i get so yes. it is contradictory right yes it is uh, really then how about um 
we talked about scams already. I was yes. going to mention one. All those scam. people that will not stop posting their personal lives on social media. Yeah. I don't get those people. You go, you go out. You okay, fine. It's fine to to share your experiences with people. But there's some th there are some private things that you should not share. I don't like sometimes relationships. Many relationships are broken because people will not keep their private lives to themselves. Yeah, thanks to smartphones, we've all become news reporter. You tell us everything that happens to you in the morning, what you ate, uh, it's this, annoying. You, you step out of your house, mm -hmm. you take a picture, and you're really exposing yourself to the public. Yes. And one guy can see you and say, ah, see this girl, I know her in school now. And you view your relationship with your partner. Yeah, many of so, those So, um, yeah. Also, I think people have been able to People have been able to, um, people have said, like, let me give an example. You want, I won't send you a text, I won't send you a picture of, like, I want to gossip about someone and I mistakenly send a picture to that person. Or well, well, the message to that person. But you find people that send image pictures to, you know. Or you want to send something to you, a romantic text message to your, to your boyfriend and I send it to your dad. So, you see, technology, technology that. even though technology helps in communication, sometimes. You so, get it wrong, so so you right? It, it starts like an epic fail, a very big fail. And then you have to explain to your dad what you mean by some certain things you wrote. There was even the case of this pastor sending some very nude pictures, I think, to a WhatsApp group Are of serious? his fellowship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought he wanted to send it to one of his girlfriends. Of his fellowship. And I think he committed suicide after that. I mean, yes. how can you show your face? Wow. So, uh, so, that has, so this has some really negative, you know, so you want to send a message and somehow you get the wrong. Well, pretty interesting things, Titi. Yeah. Thank you for joining me to rehash this one. Thank you, Inye, for having me. Um, so thank you to our viewers for actually watching. It's been a nice time, a nice time hanging with you guys. Yes, um, and from Inye and I and all of us at Tech Point. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Make sure you enjoy yourself. Yes, and uh, post sure less pictures and spend more time with your your loved ones. Okay, so make sure you also get the right gifts. Go check out our website and yes, pick the right one. Check point on NG. Okay, so very nice gifts there. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye.